Welcome, my friends, to the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Today, I have a little thing I've never made before, which has happened a lot lately. But that's okay. It's good to learn new things. I've never worked with puff pastry because I've always been a little intimidated by it. But I decided to try today. So, since we're having grilled chicken tonight, I'm going to make puff pastry with asparagus and melted cheese. Now, when you store asparagus, instead of just throwing it in the fridge or whatever, you're supposed to store it in a glass of water, and then you can put it in the fridge. I leave mine on the counter, usually because I use my asparagus within one to two days of buying it. I did not this time, which could be a problem. I bought mine Friday night. And then I got busy this weekend, and my asparagus has sprouted. It is doing its own thing. It is continuing to grow. It's beautiful, but this will be interesting. I guess the long ones, I'll just have to cut the tops off. <laughs> it's still edible. I like that it's green and tentacly. <laughs> it reminds me of creatures from the swamp, and we love that. What also I love is melted cheese. Mmm, and I do love puff pastry, so let's hope this turns out okay. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on our work surface. Make sure your surface is freshly scrubbed. Just a little bit, just enough to keep it from sticking. And then we're going to take our thawed puff pastry and we're going to unfold it. Make sure it's thawed, but when it's thawed, it should still be cold. Make sure there's no paper stuck down there. Now we're going to cut this into three strips along the fold lines. I'm going to use a pizza wheel. I can't cut straight for shit. Damn, that's easy. Now we're going to take each piece and we're going to brush it with a little Dijon mustard. Mmm, Dijon. Oh, by the way, make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to rub this on with a knife. <laughs> I said rub it. <laughs> Let's see if you can see this. So we're just going to try to spread this Dijon out evenly, as even as possible. Now, if you want these to be bigger, you can get a rolling pin and roll them out flatter, but I'm going to do it like this. Oh, that's a lot of Dijon. Let me take some of that off. That could be a little overpowering. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these edges and we're going to fold them up about an eighth. And then we're going to crimp them down with a fork. Because you want a little bit of a lip here. Mm. This might be where it, I might have should have rolled it out. But that's okay. We're learning here. I'm just using my thumb and just gently rolling this over the side. Yes, my master calls. I think this is going to be really good. Once you're done doing that, we're going to transfer it to a parchment lined baking sheet.
I really look forward to this. Now, puff pastry comes with two sheets in a box, but my husband, I want to feed him some that is hot, so I saved a sheet to make him some hot for later on. This one's not straight, but who gives a shit, right? I'm not making this for a party, but I could. And I, if it turns out as good as I think it will, taste-wise anyway, maybe not looks. If I was doing this for a party, I would probably roll it out a little bit bigger and then try a little bit harder to make it even prettier. Yes, yes, I know this is another very quick recipe, but there's nothing wrong with quick. Life has gotten busy, and many people don't have time to stay in the kitchen for a long time. We have many, many working fathers and mothers, and they need to be able to whip up something that tastes and looks fancy, but that's quick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this asparagus and make sure you trim off the stems. It's easier to do that. It's easier, I wanted to make sure it was still good. It's easier to do that with scissors. I'm gonna trim off these ends that have sprouted and you're just gonna lay the asparagus right there. Make sure you trim off the woody ends. Now, even though my asparagus has sprouted, it's not bad. If it goes bad, the ends turn black and get mushy. But this is still beautiful green asparagus. It just wanted to grow. Now, So you're going to lay three pieces of asparagus and then comes the cheese. We're going to sprinkle these with cheese. Now, let me tell you something. First, I'm going to show you, I'm going to sprinkle them with cheese. I went ahead and pre-shredded this. Don't buy pre-shredded cheese. Buy a block and shred it yourself. Pre-shredded cheese will not melt right because it's got like stabilizers in it. It's worth the few minutes to shred some cheese. I think this is going to be delicious. Try to get all that good cheese on there. We're going to pop this into our 400 degree oven for 20 minutes or until the puff pastry is golden brown all around. Wasn't that easy? We love easy here. Now, easy breezy, let me tell you about the cheesy. Okay. Now technically, this recipe calls for Gruyere cheese. Gruyere cheese is very expensive, and which is broke. She don't spend money on expensive cheese. Gruyere is actually just a really aged Swiss. So if you want to, you can substitute with Swiss cheese. You could also substitute with a cheese that has got a creamier texture and a little better of a melting point, like Harvati. But that shit was expensive last night too, and I couldn't find Swiss cheese in a block for some reason. So what I did was I got Monterey Jack. It melts well and it's mild. You want a cheese that has just enough flavor on its own, but that is mild enough to where it doesn't overpower the other flavors. Everything should be in perfect harmony, and don't we love harmony? <laughs> Especially when it sounds like diabolical music coming 
from the organ of the master of evil when he plays, but sometimes he gets, oh my god, I, but I digress. So 20 minutes and we'll be back. My master calls. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I did have to open up the oven and I totally forgot. When you put the Dijon down, before you lay down your asparagus, poke the shit with a fork. I did it halfway through cooking so it would deflate. Otherwise, it's just going to be a huge balloon. I think mine uh, still kind of turned into a balloon, but that's okay. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That looks really good golden puff pastry with brown melty cheese and cooked asparagus now that looks delicious now comes the good part where i get to taste it hot mmm Perfect place for you. Flaky. I'm perfectly done. I love the taste of cooked cheese when it's gotten right past the melty point and it's turned a little brown in some places. The Dijon and the asparagus marry very well together. And I do think that Monterey Jack is a very good choice if you don't have the funds to spring for Gruyere or even a good Swiss. Mmm, <laughs> this is probably stuck to my lips. <laughs> this is a keeper. Mmm, so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Let me know down below if you've worked with puff pastry before and how you like it. And give me some ideas of things you would like me to make with puff pastry. I do have some apples, so I might make myself some turnover soon. <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> it's also good for a pot pie, which gives me ideas for next week. <laughs> Click the notification bell so you know when I'm in the kitchen cooking up something diabolical. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.